Hi and welcome back to my channel Egg Bhoomi Ground for Education and I am Bhumika Batra discussing the steps and the alternates to be an expertise in a field. In this video I am going to discuss about the various keyboard shortcuts which will be helpful for you while working on the SPSS tool. So I'll just bifurcate these shortcuts for window and for Mac. So where will this result to? That also. If you are going with Control plus N or in the Mac you are going with the CMD plus N, it will open the new dot sav file which is the new spss file dot sav is the spss extension if you are going with the control plus o or cmd plus o it will open an existing dot sav file which means that the file onto which in spss you have already worked upon that will open okay then we'll go with the control plus s or cmd plus s what we'll do it will save the active data set onto which you are working right now okay after control s if we'll go on control c or cmd c so it will copy the selection uh, whatever the data or the variables or the cases you have selected in ISPSS, if you will press Ctrl plus C, it will uh, copy that particular selection. Similarly, Ctrl plus V and CMD plus V, it will paste that copied selection. Okay, so moving further, if we go with the control plus Z or CMD plus Z. CMD, the first is for Windows and second is for MacBook. So it will result to the undo action. Again, control plus Y or CMD plus Y will redo the action must be thinking that these are the very same uh, useful keyboard shortcuts which you are already familiar with in the MS Office like in Word or Excel if you are working on so we generally use these kind of shortcuts okay moving ahead after this we'll go with the control plus H or CMD plus H what will it do it will find or replace in the data view okay so what it will find or replace the cases means the samples the respondents okay after this control edge we'll go with the control plus t or cmd plus t this is the most important and mostly frequently most frequently used so what it will do it will let you to switch between the two tabs that is the data view tab and the variable view tab we keep on putting the mouse cursor on to variable or data so using this shortcut which is control plus t will help you to do that very easily which are hold shift okay and for the mac we have to again go with the same hold shift what it actually does it will select the multiple cases all together simultaneously okay the last is delete simply it's delete and in the macbook we can go with the function plus backspace it will delete the previously which you have selected the multiple cases when you will press function plus backspace or simply delete in the windows it will delete that particular selection 
So that's all for today's video. I hope this information shared is useful for you. If yes, keep subscribing my channel, keep sharing the knowledge as much as you can. I hope to see you very soon in the next video. Moreover, if you wish to learn about the data analysis, how to use this SPSS, R, machine learning, Python, Tableau, or also qualitative analysis using NVivo, you may visit www.edbumi.com or you can also reach at 800-399-2605. All this information have been displayed here on the window. Okay, bye.